are now live. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a brand new game on the channel called Babysitter Blood Bath. So yeah, it's a super spooky game today, and it's going to be pretty, pretty stinking, uh, pretty stinking scary. I'm going to try my best not to soil my pants. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to streaming it with you guys. This is part of our Halloween special. We had a couple of puppet combo games generously donated by Real Tide, one of the community members. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. You might notice that uh, resolution's a little weird, black bars on the side. That's because this game only runs at 10... 24 times 7 68 or some super weird resolution by that this is actually from 2013 It's one of the earlier puppet combo games before they were called puppet combo back then it was called pig farmer productions or something like that So yeah, pretty weird deal, but uh, I'm excited to give it a shot and I hope you guys all enjoy it So let's go ahead and begin. So yeah, like I said, I'm back on YouTube now finally got all moved up and over and uh, It's good to be back. It really is it is a good deal. All right. This started. Oh, oh boy. Oh, no. I exited out of it. Oh, whenever whenever I do that, it messes messes up my other monitor. Okay. okay. Are we good? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. All right. Hold up. Let's try that again. You can't uh, you can't skip with the escape. Forgot if you do that, it just closes it. It's super weird, actually. Okay. Made with 3D Game Studio. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that's like an older game engine. Yeah, Pig Farmer Productions. The thing I like about Puppet Combo is they go for that like super grainy old style like VHS type DLC. It even says VHS. <laughs> All right, boys, look for the children. All right, so this is going to be super spooky. I've never played this. I don't really know a whole lot going into it. Let's check out options real quick. Format, VHS. Oh, we can change that to DVD. Or I'm guessing DVD probably would be like less grainy. Movie, third, first. Oh, so this is the camera. Um... Controls forward. All right, so this is all just pretty standard stuff. Um, I might change. I'm tempted to change action to space, but nah, I guess we're fine. Okay. Uh, tool is F. That's a weird thing. Okay, I won't worry about it for now. Video. Yeah, this is the highest the resolution goes. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so new, new game. Yes. Big Farmer Games presents. All right, here we go, boys. That is wow. Goodness gracious. Designed by. So it's gonna show us the credit screens in the beginning. That's that's different. Pidgey, welcome, dude. He says I'm early this time. Nice. Yes, you are. Guy with no name says, "Let's go, whoa, let's do it, homie." Welcome to the stream, guys. Good to have you here with us. Thank you for six likes, by the way. Wow, that's a lot. Mark, hi Sarah, we're so glad you could come on such short notice. So is that Mark or is that Sarah? Because that looks like a Mark. Oh, hey, look! Oh, I can move her! That is Sarah, never mind, it looks like a Sarah now. I see why it's called Pig Farmer Productions. I'm seeing I'm seeing the little pig face here. So this is Sarah. Okay, look, I can move her with my mouse. Look at that. Look, look, I'm an owl. I'm Sarah the owl. Hey, no problem, Mark. What do I do? Oh, I hit spacebar. Let me take your coat. Th thank you. All right, Linda. Hi, Sarah. We're so glad you could come on such short notice. I think we're watching their kid, right? Billy is really excited to see you. Hooray. Oh, there he is. No problem, Mrs. Johnson. Mrs. Johnson. Mark and Linda Johnson. That's like the most generic names ever. Okay, all right. Guys, can I ask a question? Why is your stupid kid running through that door over there? You see that door? I'm facing it. Why is he running through that door and then running over here? Okay, I think probably what happens is I grew up in a house like this, right? The living room probably connects to the kitchen, which connects to the dining room, which connects to the living room again, and one big rectangle, and he's just running the whole rectangle like laps because he's probably bored out of his mind. So, why doesn't he watch the TV? Why doesn't your child watch TV like a normal boy? Okay, never mind. She's not going to say any of that. Before we go, do you have any questions? Oh, so, so many. Okay, no. How can I reach you? Oh, can I get paid now? Ooh, I don't know which one's the correct response. This one makes the most sense, so obviously I'm going to choose this one. Sure, we'll be back at 11. Great. Now means now. <laughs> How can I reach you? I want to put now means now. We must be going. Hey, I want my money, woman. 
talk when we get back. <laughs> okay, so I now have no way to reach them. Hey, I'm not gonna need it though. I'm good. Oh, hell, look at that. I'm actually in control now. Oh, this is kind of cool. Nice. Oh, look, I right quick puts me in like first person view model. That's kind of cool. All right, so how do I how do I open this door? Is there, is there nothing I can do here? Can I wait? Is this Andy Griffith on the wall over here? That looks that was sure looks like him. No, nope, that's not him. That's some um, that's some nobody. All right, where's where's the kick? Can I turn on the TV? Huh? Why are there candles next to it? That's what I want to know. Turn on the TV. Uh, yes. The power button appears to be broken. Oh, no wonder he's running around in loops. Hey, Billy! You want to play with one of these cool-looking tanks? Hey, 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 Bill, what? what? Billy? C c come back here. Why is this game so quiet? Oh, look at that. Look at that cool fan. All right, B Billy. Huh? Am I just supposed to, am I just supposed to, supposed to watch this kid and that's it? I mean, this camera angle is terrible. Oh my gosh. I forgot there's games with this kind of a camera angle, boys. It's it's kind of grainy. I can honestly barely see it. Mad Max, 1027. Welcome, dude. He says, hi, I remember this game. Real Tide. He says, let's go. I guess we'll see the stream while I work. Good deal, homie. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a, hope you're having a good day at work. What's... Ooh, what can we, who can we call on this phone? We don't know. We don't know how to reach anyone. We could call 911 just for the hell of it. I'm not gonna do that, but but I could. Nothing interesting here. Uh, can I look at this picture? No. Okay. Can I can I cook some food? What's in the pot? Hello? Anything in the pot? Ooh. Here's some food. This is probably Billy's dinner. I'm not hungry right now. I am. Hellfire Blazing Brand. Blazing Brand. Nice. Will you take the cereal box? Yes. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it, but I guess we'll find out. There's some dirty dishes, lots of dishes in the sink. I'm not getting paid to wash dishes. I'm just getting paid to watch this kid run in rectangles over and over and over again. The hell? Some music played. That's not a good sign. Billy? Billy? Where's this where's this fancy cat on the piano, Billy? B -b Billy? Okay, you know what? I don't even care. What's upstairs? Ooh, we're going somewhere new. Cool. Oh, sweet. I get to snoop in his parents' bed. Oh, this isn't the parents' bedroom. This is his bedroom. Hey, guys, look. Look. Look, look at that. It's VLC Media Player right there on the floor. That's cool. Oh, and here's some big old rat in a Superman cape. All right. Here's a lamp. Nothing interesting here. Yeah, that's for real. Boring. What's what's this? Hold up. Bolo Cola. That's kind of neat. Neat. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just, I'm just doing stuff. Okay, this is a cool looking room. Okay, I can't lie. The music is starting to freak me out. Especially since I don't know where it's coming from or what the hell I'm doing. Will you take the pocket flashlight? Sure. Oh, I can use it with F. That's kind of cool. I don't want to drain the battery though, so let's not do that. I, this, I, again, this camera angle is atrocious. I guess I could go to options and redo it, but who's got time for that, right? This door doesn't open. Well, that is unfortunate. What's what's on the wall here? Oh, a painting of a lion. Apparently, these are lion people. Well, I'm not a lion person, so let's go back downstairs, I guess. We gotta watch Billy some more. Yeah, okay. Um, anything else to do while I'm up here? No, let's just go back downstairs. All right. Billy... Why don't you and me find something fun to do, boy? I'm bored, all right? I know I'm supposed to be the babysitter, but technically, hey, hey, get, get, oh, hey, I'm blocking him, sweet. Okay, no, he just, he just ran around again. Yeah, life sucks. Okay, well, Billy, I gotta say, dude, you are a pretty boring kid. Can we, Billy, you have to find the remote control. I have to find the remote control. Oh, yeah, because the power button is broken. That's right. Okay, on the TV, so we gotta look for, I bet you it's in the microwave. If I had a power, if I had a remote control, I'd hide it in the microwave. Actually, am I right? Hold up. No, can't do anything with that. Maybe it's outside. He probably took it out in the sandbox and left it out there. Okay, Raptor Rock says, hi, Kes. Hey, Raptor Rock, welcome, dude. Mad Max says, 
I hot a new gaming chair for my birthday. It was last Wednesday. Hey, congratulations, Mad Max, on your hot new gaming chair, dude. Well, <laughs> congratulations, dude. Happy birthday, by the way, in all seriousness. I got a new chair, too. Hey, check this out. Check this out, boys. This is like a nice chair, and I got it for like 15 bucks. So, it, uh, it was at the thrift store. Somebody just left it there, and they hadn't taken it inside yet, so I go up to the to the people at the counter and tell them I want it, and they tell me it's $15, so I... So I get it, and and it's 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 great. It's super comfy. So glad you got a comfy chair as well, homie. So who's in here? So hold up. Hmm. Okay, we gotta go look for. Uh, we gotta go look for the remote control. Okay, that was awfully daunting. Oh, well, this is just a bathroom. Can I go to the Can I go to the toilet? Hold up. Well, not with the door open, obviously. Maybe with the door closed. Can I close the door back? Well, that's creepy as hell. Why do I, first of all, why am I able to see outside? Oh, it's not letting me see, cause, okay, yeah, no, that makes sense, okay. Can I go here? I can, this is a closet. Oh, fine, will you take the first aid kit? I absolutely will, why wouldn't I? Why would I not take the first aid kit? Is there any pill, hey, hey, you got, hey, grandma got any Xanax down here? Hold up, hold up, now, nothing, nothing, nah, uh -huh. lame. Okay, we gotta find the remote control. Where is it? It's gotta be around here somewhere. I would assume it'd be where the TV is, quite frankly. Where's the TV? Uh, this is the kitchen. I'm really bad at these games, if you guys didn't know us. Is, the, is it in the fridge, perhaps? Um, will you take the milk? No. Why the hell would I take the milk? It's just a good way to take milk out of the fridge without needing it. That's a good way to spoil some milk, son. Okay, remote control, remote control. Where the hell it? What the? What? Oh, this is the dining room. Okay, looked like some weird. Oh, there's some cigarettes over here. Ooh, okay, hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute, maybe that's what I'm supposed to use my pocket flashlight for, is for things like this. There you go. AM radio, turn it on. Yes. <laughs> Hope that's not copyright. I don't want to get claimed. Constant. Attention, citizens Const of Monroe Township. We apologize for the interruption, but for a matter of your safety and well-being, we have received reports that a mental Lincoln State Hospital and should be considered extremely dangerous. Ooh. I repeat, do not try and approach any suspicious persons, but rather alert your local authorities immediately. Fugitive's name is Nicholas Burr, 38, approximately 6'4", 240 pounds, armed and dangerous. The apprehension of Burr is a top priority. Please contact the Sheriff's Department if you have any information about his current whereabouts. God bless, and stay safe. Good deal. All right, well, that's interesting, I guess. Don't really know what that's got to do with me, but uh, okay. Now, tell me something about this uh, Nicholas Burr guy. Is he related to Bill Burr? Why, could he get me some cheap Bill Burr tickets? Because that'd be pretty sweet. I can't even lie. Okay, now here's an even more important question. It's too far to go anywhere without a car. Yeah, I know. Okay, TV. We're looking for the TV remote. I got this white. Uh, no, we can't turn on the TV. So we gotta look for the remote. Nothing interesting here. Dude, there's gotta be a remote somewhere. I'm like, come on, man, I'm looking. I got my flashlight and everything. Uh, here's some dogs. That's that's cool. That's that's cool. I love me some, some good old dogs. Oh, oh. All right, hello? Remote control anywhere? All right, I don't know where the hell this is. You can switch the game camera angle to first person if you want. Right, 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 right. yeah, you can right click and, and and stuff. And yeah, you can do it in settings too. You can just change it. Anyway, um, but yeah, Supernova's like, long time no see. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, I mean, you got a new gaming chair. Not hot, I must have said, I know, dude, I was just giving you a hard time. This game reminds me of a horror movie I watched, does it now? I could see that. Kind of, kind of I mean, it, it's, it's on a VHS tape. I mean, what more do you want? How much horror, more horrifying can you get than VHS? Anyway, Merrick Slovak, welcome. He says, movement looks difficult. Yeah, it's basically like playing an old Metal Gear game. Not that I've ever done that, you understand, but just assume it's like that. Oh, sweet. Anything here? Just some coats. Really? Just, just some coats, huh? No. No remote control. 
I guess it's gotta be upstairs. I've looked everywhere else for it. Digging that music, by the way. Just old boxes and stuff. Screw you, old boxes. All right, I'm going, I'm out of here. Wait, who's this creepy dude on the wall? Is this your grandma? Wait a minute. Nicholas Burr from Lincoln State Hospital continues to rage on. Hold up. We recommend all citizens to stay inside and lock your doors. The mass criminals doors locked, right? Extremely dangerous. I sure hope so. Indicate he has maimed and killed close to a dozen innocents at this point. Oh, Please fine. do not feed his terror and assist in the safest way possible. Staying home and alerting your law enforcement professionals. Three six zero triple five four two one five. Three six zero triple five four five. Three six zero triple five four five. Here, let's let's go try that. Oh, the fridge is open. That's not a good sign. Three six five. What was it? Does anyone remember the number? Was it? Nobody picked up. That's not it. I don't remember what the hell the number was. This game will let you save, but you need to find tapes to save. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not very good at finding much anything. Cool garbage can. Wish I had something to throw away. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, I've got it. Will you take the milk? Yes, now I have something to throw away. Nope. Apparently I can't throw away the milk. I'll just hold on to it till it goes bad and then I'll throw it away. Lots of dishes in the sink. Still not getting paid to clean them, though. Uh, I'm gonna have to go upstairs, aren't I? Yeah, I don't really wanna go upstairs. It's dark up there. Hey, Billy, how come your parents never paid the electric bill? It's no wonder you can't watch no darn TV. Where's the stairs? Okay, yeah, they're still talking about the killer on the radio. Don't pay any attention to that, Billy. Oh, fun. I'm even in a creepier place now. Right, what the hell is this? Oh, another TV. Record your progress. Yes. There you go. You don't have a tape. Drat. Now I see what real tide meant. Oh, that's sad. So this is like my safe space. That's kind of comforting. Oh, here's a tape. We take the VHS tape. Yes. Will I record it? Yes. Record your progress. Yes, please. Empty. Just like my heart. What? What's going on now? Save. Oh, I have to hit enter. Okay. Record your progress. No, I think I already did it. Okay, good deal. All right, 36525. Five. Oh, you guys all know. 360555. Five, five. Oh, everyone's, everyone's giving me numbers now. Thank you, guys. Hey, thank you for eight likes, too. Uh, I migrated to UpLive, so YouTube was forgotten to me. I don't know what UpLive is. But not Kessie Boy. Nope. Actually, I'm about to make some tea. Haha, <laughs> nice, dude. I got some myself. As a matter of fact. All right. Oh, three, six, zero, five, 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 four, two, one, five. Okay, I'm going to try all those numbers. Let me go back to the kitchen. Wait, what's in the safe? Store your items? Stink, yes. Okay, what do I, do I want to put in here? Let's see. We're going to put in the cereal box. Since I don't know what all to put. Um. Okay, there's a slot. Switch. Here's a slot. Switch. Here's some milk, we'll switch that. There you go. All right, good deal. Still got my flashlight, obviously. Okay, let's just hope it, the battery doesn't go out. I don't know how long it's gonna last, or if there's a battery charge. I don't really know much about any of it, quite frankly. So this game has a bit more going on with it than I really knew. That's actually kind of cool, though. Looks like the door to the basement, open it. Hell yes. There's gotta be, it's locked, of course it is. So I gotta find a basement door key. I really wanna find the TV remote so Billy will sit down. It's dark and scary outside. Open the door, hell no. No, thank you. It, like, like, like she said, it is dark and scary out there. And I don't, and there's a suspicious guy on the loose. I don't wanna let him in. What's in here? Another oh, stupid dining room again, yeah. Yeah, well, who turned the radio off? It's probably Billy, who can blame him? So much horrifying stuff on the news. Young people these days and all that crap. Hold up, let's go. On. Let's go over here. Let's let's go. Let's go. No, no. I am getting so lost in this house. Like, where's the upstairs? Did they just not exist anymore? Oh, they're all the way down here, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Hold up. Yeah, I found them. Okay. 
All right, anyway. Oh, wait, I was going to try all the numbers, wasn't I? Keep first aid kit. Oh, well, all right. Remote is upstairs. Oh, okay, good deal, good deal. How's your day, Kess? So far, so good, homie. So, a little, little scared, because the, the game's kind of scary, but... But, you know, haven't haven't gotten to the scary bits yet, which is nice. Actually, used to call me scary bits back in kindergarten. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop. Probably not. All right, here's my room. Let's go in your boy Kess's room, because Real Tide said I need to keep my first aid kit. I think this is my safe room, you know, where I'm safe. Store your items. Uh, yes, okay. We're going to take the first aid kit, and we're going to switch it back over, over here. Yep, there you go. Okay. All right. Goodbye forever. All right, that was actually kind of spooky, because it opened up to her standing there. And I thought it was somebody else. What's this? Where does this go? Oh, yeah, this is the bathroom. I forgot about the bathroom. Okay, I don't really care about the bathroom. Um, stairs, 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 stairs. We got to go upstairs. I think we got to go all the way down the hallway, right? I don't actually remember. Okay, Billy's house confuses me to no end. This is my room. Okay, I'm not going in my room again. Hey, Billy. Can I ask you a question, dude? Why is your house like a maze? Right? Why is it so darn hard? Oh, never mind. All right. Anyway, I still I still didn't do the numbers yet. I can't I have to keep I need to call the phone numbers. All right, here's here's one room. Let's let's go look over here. We didn't really look around very much while we were up here. Okay. This house doesn't have any mirrors. Why doesn't it have any mirrors? Okay. I swear all this musical notes are really creeping me the hell out. I don't think I need a shower right now. Oh, I think you do that. Okay, no. All right, hold up. Hold up. I can't use the bathroom right now. Feels like someone is watching. Oh, no. All that is spooky is stink. Hold up. Can I close the door? I don't like that. I don't like the idea of somebody watching. That spooky is stink. Hold up. This is actually kind of a cool game. It's different than anything I've played before. Sam, welcome to stream. Sammy says, Kess, what do you think about the Nintendo Switch on my expansion pack? It's stupid. It's a stupid, it's a stupid thing, and it's, and I, I frankly, I frankly don't know who they think they're trying to fool with that. I mean, oh yeah, let's, let's, let's pay twice as much for an already bogus service for something that's just, I mean, really, what they're doing is they're, you're paying them monthly for the privilege of playing older games on an emulator. I can do that on a PC for free. It's like, it just, it makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. It's a dumb service. Okay, is this the remote? Will you take the remote control? Yes! I found it. All right, Billy. Let's watch some tunes, homie. All right. Guess I should thank Real Tide for that. Can I record my progress now that I found the remote? Do I want to record my progress? That's a, that's an interesting question. All right, Billy, let me go record my... Let's, let's let Sarah go record her progress, and then she can go turn on TV, watch some cartoons, like you do. This is the wrong room. Definitely the wrong room. Okay. I, apparently, I'm still having some navigational issues. Yo, Billy, homie. How does a fella find her room in a house like this, right? How does that work? <laughs> is this my room? This looks like my room. My room's right off the kitchen. No, that's the that's the basement door. I don't want to go in the basement. There's probably spiders down there. I'm not I'm not great with spiders. I'm not afraid of them, mind you. I'm just not great with them. Here we go. No, nope, this is the toilet. Okay. All right, that's not my room. My room does not have a toilet in it. I don't know why the Johnsons have a separate room for Sarah. Apparently, they're trying to get away from their bratty little kid as often as possible. You know, I thought he's pretty good. He just kind of runs around and does his own thing. Here's a cigarette. Here's a chair. Uh, still don't know where to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm great at games, guys. If you didn't know, I'm kind of like the, a world champion of stuff like this. Like, it might look like I'm just wandering around not knowing what I'm doing, but, like, deep down in, you know... Got them skills. Okay. I've been in here already. This is where the radio is. Oh, boy. Okay. This game can be played in two ways, I think. Really? How so? Okay. Cast behind you? Ha, 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 Nice try, buddy. Okay. Armandus, welcome. He says, imagine soiling your pants. Couldn't be me. It looks like Billy. He's having a seizure. Check it. 
We always have a seizure. I think it's because I'm shining the light in his eye. Oh, no. Oh, no, the light. Oh, I'm coming back to the light. Oh, no, the light. Oh, I'm coming back. Oh, I'm coming back. Okay, okay, Billy. He's the one soiling his pants. Or his pajamas or whatever the hell he has on right now. All right, where the hell is my room? I want my room, and I want it right now. Billy, I demand you take me to my room so I can save my progress. All right? I am not asking you, Billy. I am telling you. As your babysitter and the woman in child uh, hell. Uh, uh, wait, is this it? This looks like it. No, that's the same stupid... Oh, I'm driving myself crazy. Okay. Here's the stairs. Here's this. I, I don't know where Sarah's room is. I'm not going to worry about Sarah's room right now. I'm going to go turn on the TV and let Billy have some fun or something. Hold on, Billy. You want to go watch TV, dude, since I don't know where my room is? Oh, goodness. What gaming companies are doing in one word, reaching. That's the name of the business. Now, see, I don't mind gaming companies making some money, but at least put out a real product. Don't put out something that's bogus, and then be like, oh, you should buy this. <laughs> Silly. Not getting lost in this house is hard in itself. <laughs> you should get used to running around the house, too. I like this. Yee, 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 yee. I call this, I call this, um, I call that power walking real tight. I don't, I wouldn't really call that running. But, you know, you, you know, you, you, you do you, boo. All right, anyway, let's, let's go over here. Let's go over, wait, turn on the TV, yes. The TV is on, sweet. Oh, fun, the phone's ringing. That's in the kitchen, right? Uh, that's the bathroom, hold up. Here it is. Sarah, hello. I don't lie. The game is a the demons trail my legs to hell. What you sit in your ivory tower. Don't you judge me, I see all. Hello? Hello? Okay, let's see. Blah blah blah. Judging, watching, ivory tower. Oh, who is it now? This must be Pizza Man. Hello? Oh, Jill. Jill says, hey, Sarah. Jill! I don't know who the hell Jill is. You scared the uh, S-word out of me. Huh? With your phone mumbling bullcrap. Phone mumbling? Oh, it wasn't Jill. Oh, I never could have, I never could have guessed. Huh? Okay. Nintendo says emulation is illegal, so they say, well, oh, well, thank goodness Nintendo it's not the law. <laughs> They're not even a United States company, actually, so they can go, uh, they can go, uh, go somewhere else if they don't like it. Anyway, hey, 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 Nintendo, hey, Nintendo, guess what? I can run N64 games on my PC, and there ain't a thing you can do about it, okay? Okay. All right, anyway, phone mumbling. When you just called, are you off your meds again? Oh, am I on meds? Okay, well, that explains something. Explains why there's no mirrors. Uh, I didn't call. If it wasn't you, then who? Hey, remember that guy from the mall? Are you going to call him? His name's Jeremy, right? Oh, yes, no, yes. You, <gasps> why would you call me that, Jill? Why would you call me such a terrible name? What are you going to say? I don't know, I wrote down his number, but left it in my coat. You better get it and call me after you talk to him. Remember my number is 555-8345-BYE. Can I take a... There we go, a little screenshot of Jill's number in case I forget. All right, eight, three, four, five, all right. Good deal, so I really want to find my room so I can save again. Is this it? It's dark and scary outside, open the door. No, okay. I don't want to go outside, but I do want to find my room. Um, and I want to call Jeremy. Oh, here's my room, I found my room, boys. Hey, I can. I found my room, I can save again. Oh, this is lovely. This is a dream come true. All right, record your progress. Yes, please. You don't have a tape. Oh, oh, okay. You can only save once you find a tape. So you have to go, you, have to, you can only save once per tape. Well, that's kind of lame, but all right. Guess it's not a rewritable tape. Um, the hell was that? Oh, it's the TV. Okay, doesn't that seem a bit much for you, Billy? Don't you seem a little young for creepy man in the woods or this is this this is retarded. No wonder you were walking around in, in rectangles, Billy. 
I don't I was I was right about his house being one big rectangle though, wasn't I? Okay, coats, 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 coats. Where's the coat closet? I gotta go find the coat closet again. Um was it in the bathroom? I don't bloody remember. No, it's in here, isn't it? This is the coat closet. No, it's just old boxes and stuff. Okay. Coat closet. I swear we were there earlier. I swear to stink. Okay. Um, is this the coat closet? It is. There we go. Just some coats. Billy says, looking for this. Sarah, Jack's number. Give that back. You're going to have to come get it. Oh, you silly boy. Let's go grab him. Really? Really, Billy? Is this it? Are we just playing Chase the nine-year-old now? Or Wait, where'd he actually go? I don't know where the hell he went. Where the hell did he go? Did he go upstairs? Oh, wait. There he is. Come here, Billy. Come here, boy. All right, there he is. Hold up. I am bad at running. You know, if I probably just hang out in the kitchen, he'll probably be along here in a second. Aha, there he is. Oh, he got he got by me. Darn you, Billy. Hold up, Billy. Come back. Give me Jack's number. We wanna we wanna do some smooching. Come on. C come on. J just just a little bit. Ah, Billy. I swear. All right, Billy. I swear. I am in in about four years. I'm gonna find a very cute. 13-year-old girl, bring her over here, and then abruptly take her away. And then when you ask why, it's all going to be because of this number, Billy. What are we talking about? Um, go to the coat rack. It's not a thing you could do. Nintendo suits. Yes. Yeah, that would, that would totally happen here. I got to go, Cass. Got to do some stuff. Have to leave early Saturday. That is sad, Mad Max, but no problem, homie. You take care of your stuff. I'll see you at the top. KJ1, welcome. He says, hey, Ted. Where the hell is corkscrew? I don't know what that means, KJ. One, but welcome to the stream. Okay. Now we're going to have to watch the one way that everyone's seen already. Say no when she asks. Oh. Oh. Now we're going to have to watch the one way we said everybody knows already. Oh. I didn't know. I didn't know real tight. I'm sorry. My, my bad. We can, we can do it the other way. Okay. That can be a whole nother, a whole nother thing. I don't care. All right, I, I do need to find this rug rat, though. Billy, I swear to stick, dude. Man, controls are terrible in this. I mean, it's probably that way on purpose, quite honestly. Okay, Billy, I swear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you, Billy, just like the, the just like the thing on TV. Your parents really need to moderate what you're watching a little more, quite honestly. Billy, I'm not, I'm not kidding around anymore, dude. Where's Please give me Jack's number. I really want to call him. Come on, man. He's going to get bored if I don't... Ah, ha, ha! Wait, 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 wait. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, wait, he, he got he got stuck. Okay, I got him. Fine, I'll give it back. Took me long enough, didn't it? All right, so now I can call him, right? Yeah, well, he watches all that crap. All right. Good... Di wait, where's the kitchen? I was literally just there. Here it is. Here's the kitchen. All right, uh, wait. How do I know his number? What? I don't know, how do I look at his number though? He gave it back to me, but I don't, that makes no, oh, should I call, should I call Jill back? Is that it? Is that what I need to do? Hmm. Billy's the first boss fight. <laughs> and the imposter is sus. Well, Cass, yeah. Yeah, it's Night of the Living Dead on TV. Oh, is it really? Don't worry, it's a public domain movie. Okay, that's good. I wasn't really worried. Puppet combo is some of my favorite horror games. I can see why. They're pretty cool. Inventory, you ding dong. Well, how do I... I don't know how to open inventory, dude. How the stink does one do that? Oh, the escape key. Why well, am stupid? Jack, 555-9124. 9124, good deal. 9124. Jack says, hello, and Sarah says, hey, Jack, it's Sarah from the mall. Was wanting to know if you wanted to come over and have a little make out. So okay, no, she didn't say that. Oh, hey, Sarah, are you doing anything fun tonight? Uh, drinking, smashing mailboxes, and tipping cows. Okay, so the game takes place in Indiana. That's interesting. Cool. 
Yeah, as if any girl would be impressed with that. Hey, I'm actually out of liquor. We can hang out if you have some. I think I can get some. Come over at 11.30. Sure. Bye. So 11.30. Wait, aren't the parents going to be back at 11? Is that not what they said? Or is that when Billy has to go to bed? Do you have inventory? I did. I just didn't know. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to call Jill now, right? Yeah. Her number's 555. What is her number? No what the hell is her number? Hold on. Let me, let me hit the escape key real quick, okay? I'm just going to go over here. Take a little look at my screenshots. Hold on. Uh, da, da, da. Wait a minute. Where is that screenshot? Hello? Super weird screenshot. I, I genuinely don't know. See, this is why I should keep my screenshots folder more organized. Then I would actually know what the hell I was looking for. Oh, here it is. I found it. All right. Uh... Five 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 nine eight three eight three four five. There you go. Eight three four five. All right. So let's pull the game back up. Okay. It. Oh no, the game crashed. Oh no. No, my game crashed. No. Oh come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, that is such bull crap. What kind of nonsense is that? Ah, uh, that means we're gonna have to start all over from that save point, doesn't it? I officially hate this. Second screen reveal. Yeah, I know, right? Rip, big old rip, Sam. Hey, Cass. Hey, Russian spy. Welcome, dude. Cash, you can open the inventory by opening the inventory. You're welcome for the tip. Tripping cows is fun. Want to come, Cass? No, Sam. Tipping cows isn't even a real thing. You can't tip a, tip a cow. It was disproven all over YouTube. What happened? Wait, it said empty on the save, but yet the save still works. Well, what kind of bull crap is that? Okay, here's my save. So now I'm gonna have to go do the stink all over again. Hold up. Uh, we're gonna stick this in here. Hold up. We're gonna stick this in here. Milk. It's, you know, we got it from the cows we tipped. That's that's another thing that happens. You know, it's they. You tip them over, they spurt out some milk. It's 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 life. Okay, no more screenshots. <laughs> Guess you were so smart that the game had to crash. You were just that good. I know, right? I'm just that amazing. Oh, well, I remember her number now, so who cares? Um, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, I'm looking for the remote. That's right. I'm looking for the remote, and uh, I'm gonna go upstairs to grab it. That's right. We have to go in the creepy musical bathroom because I did that already, and I don't want to not do that. Hold up. Yeah, remember? It's like, oh, why are there no mirrors? Take a shower. I don't need one. I can't go to the bathroom. It feels like someone's watching me. Ooh. Probably the banana painting on the wall. That's probably what's watching us. All right, so now we're going to go to Billy's room and find that remote control that he is put in his toy collection for some odd reason. Here it is. Take the remote control. Yes. All right, so now we're going to go downstairs. And uh, hopefully Jack doesn't think I'm nerdy for having this stupid light on my on my th thing, but I guess we'll see. All right, so let's go over here. Uh, Timmy, or not Timmy, Billy. Yeah, that's right. His name his name's Billy. Stupid kid. Okay, uh, Billy. Great news. Why did I go back in my room? I don't know. All right, let's go back out. Billy. Great news, homie. I found the TV. You can watch. Night of the Living Dead, or whatever the hell KJ1 said it is, I guess. I don't I don't really care, quite frankly. Let's go, uh, wait. What is this? Oh, this is that bathroom. That's right. All right, we'll just follow Billy. He'll lead us to the TV. See? I, I told you he would. All right, let's turn that on. TV's on. Okay, have fun with that, Billy. I'm going to go uh, answer, answer the mum mumbler on the phone. Hold up. Where's the kitchen at? Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Here it is. Hello? Hello? Don't lie. Ivory Tower. Judgment. You, you know, you, we've all heard it before. Would you sit in your ivory tower? Don't you judge me. I see all. Well, that was fun. Guess I wouldn't know. Guess I'm in Oklahoma if Tripping Cows is real. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Hey, Oklahoma is a cool state, though. Sarah says hello. 
Okay, no, no answer. All right, so now Jill's gonna call us. All right. Hey, Sarah, Jill, you scared the crap out of me, huh? With your phone mumbling bull crap. Phone mumbling? What? When you just called. Are you off your meds again? I didn't call. If it wasn't you, then who? Hey, remember that guy from the mall? Are you going to call him? <sighs> Real tight told me to put no, but I really want to put yes, so yes. All right. You, uh, um, loose woman. There you go. What are you going to say? I don't know. I wrote down his number, but left it in my coat. You better get it and call me after you talk to him. Remember, my number is uh, this, which I totally remember. Okay. All right. So let's 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 go. Go into the coat closet. Yeah. I actually have a I actually have a have a name for the coat closet. Okay. It's called. Uh, well, I don't have a name for the coat closet per se. I have a name for the novel that I'm writing about the coat closet. Okay. And the name of the novel is The Coat Chronicles. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it's coming out in theaters. You're gonna love it. Where? Uh... Oh yeah, this is the radio room. This is where the coat closet is. This is kind of a creepy room, really. Just some old boxes and stuff. No, this isn't it. I always forget what it is. You know what it actually is? I think it's that thing near the front door. It looks like a back door, like like I'm looking out out through a screen door or something. But that doesn't really make any sense. It's obviously got to be a coat closet. All right, I'm probably not making any sense. Don't worry about it. Let's go to the front door. That's Sarah's room, I think. Hold up. Where's the front door at? Here it is. That's the bathroom, dude. Come on, Cass, get a grip. Okay, oh, that's fun. That's that's super clever. Those movies really sucked. Okay, let's go. Here's the coat closet. This is what I want. There you go. Just some coats. Looking for this. Jack's number, give that back. You're gonna have to come get it. Uh-huh, and then he runs away, I guess, yeah. And then I run after him, because I'm a good babysitter. And also one that's depleted of stamina, too. Ah! I got you, you little rugrat. Oh, he got away somehow. I don't even know how he did that. I don't even know how he how he did it. Okay. All right, wow, he's he's a slippery little stinker, isn't he? Okay, okay. Billy, you old, you really suck, dude. I'm just I'm just saying. Just saying, Billy, you gotta smash that space bar when I see him. I'm just gonna mash the space bar anyway. Let's just let's just do some good old fashioned space bar mashing. Aha! There he is! Yes! Yes! Give it! Give it! I'm hungry. You're hungry? What? Oh, my number, Billy! Oh, did he give it to me? Oh, he did, but he said I'm hungry. That's a weird thing to say. Somebody said it last time. I can give you some food, Billy. I don't care. I'll make you a sandwich. What the hell? Hold up. Anyway. Uh, let's see. You don't care. Pay respects to George A. Romero. I don't know who the hell that is. The director of Night of the Living Dead who passed away in 2017. Okay, well now I do. The man practically invented the zombie genre and shaped them towards being modern. Who? Who cares? Okay, uh, Cass, are you a Pepsi or a Coke person? You know, I actually like both, but I've always been kind of partial to Coke myself. So, yeah. Not hungry right now. Okie dokie. Uh, let's call, let's call Jack, like we're supposed to. Uh, his number is 555-9124. All right. Hello? Hey, Jack, it's Sarah from the mall. Oh, hey, Sarah. What, are you doing anything fun tonight? Drinking, smashing mailboxes, and tipping cows. Basically being a nuisance. Cool. Hey, I'm actually out of liquor. We can hang out if you have some. Think I can get some. Come over at 1130. Sure, bye. All right, so now we got to call Jill back. This is where we left off before we had the little incident. Jill says, hello. All right. GTA Vice City stories even reference the sequel, Dawn of the Dead, in a mission where you were hired as a stuntman. That's cool. Also, spoilers. No, I'm teasing. All right. The GTA story series is my favorite of the GTA series. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Hey, you guys know I'm doing the uh, Definitive Edition trilogy when it comes out in the 11th, right? Yeah, it's going to be super fun. Okay. Just says hello. Sarah says, hi, Jill. It's me, Sarah. Michelle Geller. Michelle Geller, what? No, your friend Sarah. Oh, hey. What? What the, what the, what? That didn't make any sense. That was a weird interaction. What you doing? Would you stop calling me all the time, B-word? I think she hung up. I don't know, what? That doesn't make any sense. She told me to call her right back after I called Jack. Did she not, did she not say to call her back? Wait a minute, I don't know what the hell was up with that. Hello, hi Jill, it's me, Sarah. It's the same same interaction. 
I don't understand that at all. That makes literally no sense. I do not understand that. What am I doing now? Am I looking for wicker? Nothing interesting here. Hey, Billy boy, you got any wicker? By any chance, any of, any of them good old delicio yum yum drinks? Perhaps? No. What's in here? Some old boxes and stuff, right? Some old boxes and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. What's here? Nothing. Okay. Well, I don't see any wicker, so uh, I don't know how we're going to get any. All right. All right, Kaz, I'll be listening to the stream, so try your best without my help. Yikes. <laughs> I'll say this. Try to save at crucial moments and look for the gun ammo and bullets when you get out of the basement. All right. Good to know, dude. Thank you. That's probably what I should do to advance the story. I should go exploring a little more. Look in the basement. Look in the attic, even though it's super scary up there. All that good stuff. Okay, is there anything over here? Nothing interesting here. I already checked that. That's right. Uh, tell me, is there any wicker in the kitchen, perhaps? Because I would think if you were going to have some wicker, you'd have it in... Wait a minute. We're just in the bathroom closet. She, she was right about there not being any mirrors, wasn't she? Yeah, she was very correct about that, I must say. Okay, let's go let's go into this little closet here. Nothing interesting in there either. Well, I am very disappointed in myself. Alright. Uh basement. Basement, basement, basement. What? Oh, this is Sarah's room. Right, 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 right. Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna have to look for some more tapes. Probably gonna be in the basement or the attic, which is where I'm gonna go now. All right, I don't really like how the Defendant Trilogy removed the classic GTA games from stores. Yeah, I don't care for that either. I mean, the only way people will be able to experience the old games would be either a PS2 copy or piracy. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm not a fan of the way they did that either, but, eh. So, Ubisoft did something similar when Assassin's Creed 3 come, came out. It's definitely, uh... It's definitely a very crappy move, I will say that, on Rockstar's part. Okay, is there anything good? Nope, just milk. Okay, I don't know... I don't know why the stink... Cool garbage can. Wish I had something to throw away. Hey, Billy! You wanna play... You wanna play garbage dunk? Okay, no, that's mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright, Billy, I, I take it back. No garbage dunk. For now. Okay, uh, where's... Okay, look, somebody closed that coat closet. That's that's a little nerve-wracking. Okay, where's the stairs? I still don't remember where the stairs are. I don't have the greatest uh, sense of direction, if you all haven't noticed. All right, I'm back upstairs. Let's go through some more rooms. No, nah, we've been in the bathroom already. Let's get out. Let's not go in there. What's this thing? Cool. Okay. Let's go in here. Hello. I am Sarah. I am in the room. Looking for things. What's up here? Anything? Rifling through his parents' bedroom. See if we can find any loose change. You know, five dollars an hour just really isn't cutting it anymore. College tuition's up. What's in... What the... What? Oh! It's like a little shortcut between their room and Billy's. It's probably smart. Okay. Probably a good way of doing it. Anything under the bed? The bed looks comfortable, but I'm not sleepy. You sure, Sarah? You've had a big night. I mean, you called Jack, and then you called Jill, and then they fell down a, a hill with a pail of water. It was pretty crazy. All right, what's in here? Ooh, wicker. Open the wicker cabinet. Stink, yeah. It's locked. Of course it is. Let's smash it. You know you want to, just a little bit. A turntable. Too bad they only have Ornette Colmet. Coleman LPs here. What's Ornette Coleman? I must want to look that up, but nah. All right, so we got to look for the key to the wicker cabinet. Yo, Billy! Did your dad give you the key? Elias, welcome, Elias. Alex Pro 4K says, Kes, hi, welcome, Alex Pro 4K. Well, they have options to switch on the old graphics like their other remasters. Oh, is that something they're going to do? Well, if they do that, and the game's just as good as the originals, if not better, then, well, you know. Well, actually, no, I take that back. 
That still, that still doesn't justify taking down the originals because of all the mods. Will you take the VHS tape? Yes. All right. Uh, Real Tide said to save at crucial moments without giving me any idea of what that meant. So I'm tempted to squander my tape again just because I know it's been a hot minute. We've been running around, but uh, I'm not going to do that. So, yeah. Is there anything in here? No. Okay, no wicker cabinet keys. No nothing, really. All right, well, we'll remember this for later, that it's here anyway. Uh, let's go, where else can we go? Can we go anywhere else interesting? What if we go down this hallway? What's down here? Another another room. Looks like it goes to another bedroom. Open the door. It's locked. Okay. The, the way this house is organized confuses me a, a wee bit. All right, can I call Sarah back now? Also, is Billy still being good? I'm supposed to be watching him. Yeah, he's just watching a movie. That's that's age appropriate, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, got nothing to worry about. Okay, so here's the phone. Let's call. Let's call Jill back. Hopefully. Okay. Uh. Hi, Jill. It's me, Sarah. No. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Different response this time. Jill said, oh, hey, what you doing? We stopped calling me. Okay, never mind. No, it's the same. It's the exact same. I thought it was different, but it's not. Uh, okay. New Sims game looking pretty scuffed. Oh, they have a new Sims game? I didn't know that. That's cool. Okay. I'll watch it, but won't buy it because I don't like what Rockstar's been doing in the modding community. Also, pretty sure they won't allow it to be mod because it's only the Rockstar Game Watcher. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. It's dark and scary outside. Open the door. and Nope. Okay. At least not right now. Maybe later. <laughs> uh, but yeah, fair enough, guys. If you don't want to buy the remaster, that's fine. I'm not really a big fan of uh, the way Rockstar's been treating modders. And their I don't even like their whole attitude lately. The whole, the whole little deal that's been going on with them. So, yeah. I don't know. They're just not what they used to be. But the remaster does look pretty cool. I do want to put... Oh, we can't go in the basement. It's locked. Hell, man. Where do we find keys in this game? Where is the man supposed to find his keys? Do I have to go outside to find my keys? Is that what I got to do, boys? Okay. Anyway. Uh, the angle of how the cam is set, it's difficult. It really is, isn't it? It's set with a uh, movie camera, I think it's what it was. It's like an old Metal Gear game. You could change it to first person and third person, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, but yeah. Okay, well, I, I don't know what to do. Should I give Billy some cereal? He said he was hungry. Throw your items. Let's see. Oh, wait, cereal and milk. Oh, I could totally combine these and, and take him some food, couldn't I? Oh, let's try it. Why not? Just, just for the, just for the stink of it. Um, switch, switch to this. There you go. Okay, Billy, got you a snack. I know you're hungry. Well, let's open this door back up. Oh, goodness. All right, I actually believe it's a good thing they removed the classic games from stores because it justifies my piracy. There you go. Always always good to try and justify some some piracy. All right. right. I'm gonna. I don't know how I'm going to find the keys. I'm probably going to have to go outside. I don't really want to go outside because it's creepy out there. But I guess I don't have any choice, do I? All right, Billy, here's some food, homie. Here, let's see, uh, inventory. We'll take this and we'll use it. You can't use this right now. Oh, can I combine this with this? Made cereal. You can't use this. Can I, can I give it to Billy? Bowl of sugar cereal. Where the hell did the strawberries come from? That wasn't in the, that wasn't in the thing. Here's Jack's number. Hey, bro, I wrote Jack's number on, okay. First aid kit, kit with band-aids, gauze, and aspirin. I'm trying to see if there's anything new. None. Tools, flashlight. Wait, oh yeah, pocket flashlight, okay. Nothing to equip in my hand right now, so yeah, okay. Well, uh, I guess I'm gonna put the bowl of cereal back in the safe since I don't really know what else to do with it right now. What's in here? That's the bathroom again. I still don't know what the stink this exists for. And it's just old boxes and stuff. There's nothing in here. 
confuses me to no end. Uh, is this my room? Yes, this is my room. It's right off the kitchen. I'll have to remember that if I ever lose it again. Okay, let's put the cereal back in the safe. I really want to use a safe, but I probably shouldn't. All right, go over here. Go over here. Okay. Uh, save when Jack is in the house. Oh, okay, thanks, Real Tide. Thanks for the info, buddy. I feel bad. I'm distracting him from his work. Nah, who cares? All right, anyway. Uh... What else was I reading in the chat? Let's see. When will companies do that? Dark Souls 1 can't be bought, only remaster. Warcraft 3 got taken down for the Reforged. I still think that Dark Souls 3 is cheaper than 1 because of, because of this. Yeah. No, I agree with that. I mean, you know what they should do? You know what they really should do? Okay. They should go the Bioshock model. All right. When Bioshock made a remastered version, they kept the original version on Steam, right? So you had either or. You could play either version that you wanted to. That was a good way of doing it. Now, to be fair, the remaster of Bioshock is basically just Bioshock Seaweed Edition. But still, you know, the, the principle still stands on its own. Leave your originals for peeps to enjoy. That's the deal, yo. Okay. Um, I don't know what else to do now, so I guess I'm going to go outside. So it's it's really scary out there, so... Probably gonna wet myself, so if, if you guys if you guys want to see me go outside, you gotta smash that like button, okay? We gotta we gotta do the sellout YouTuber bit. You gotta you gotta smash the like button in order for me to actually go outdoors. All right, that's really what you want to see. All right, all right, yeah, outside. Nah, it's a bathroom. Huh? I fooled you. I'm just I'm just that clever. Wait, where where the hell actually is the door of the outside now? I don't even remember. Oh, it's over here in the kitchen, isn't it? Yep. Here we go. Here we go, boys. You ready? You ready to see it? Okay. Anyway, I'll give you that cast. It does look cool. It is it is a pretty neat looking remaster. Uh okay. I think I see why they removed the graphics mods, because look at the trailers, the graphics look similar to the graphic mods. Take two probably just thought this would reduce cells. You see, and that's such a stupid thing to think because it's not true at all. Look at Bethesda. They have all sorts of mods for their games. Do you think that, that makes any of their newer games less hyped up or sell any worse? No. The people who run Take Two just don't know what they're doing. That's the problem. I shouldn't go out there alone. Huh. Okay, I guess smashing the like button. Encouraging everyone to smash the like button was a bad idea. Smash the, that dislike button, guys. I guess. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what to do now. We uh, we can't go downstairs because it's locked. We can't go in that secret bedroom upstairs because it's locked. We can't give Billy cereal because it says I can't use this right now. Hey, Billy, do your parents have a liquor cabinet? Yeah, but you can't open it without the key. Uh, who would have known talking to Billy progressed the story? So where's the key? I'll only give it to you if you cook me something. You little B-word. I'll need a way to get rid of Billy. Well, that is by far the easiest task I have ever been assigned in my life. All right, here's how you get rid of Billy, sister. Okay, super simple technique, all right? I, I created it myself because I'm just that. I'm just that pure genius, yep. Okay. Uh, wait. Where's the kitchen? Oh, here it is. All right, here's my room. All right, let's go get him some cereal with the strawberries that came out of thin air. Don't go out yet. I can't, real tight. Hit that dislike button if you love cats. No, no, I wasn't serious, guys. Please, no. Uh, okay. Uh, here. It still doesn't justify the old ports being taken off, plus to kill all the mods that didn't have them. The mindless DMC takedown. Yeah, I know. You were, you were right. You were all completely right. So now here's my deal. Here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to be playing through the whole trilogy, right? The whole definitive edition of the trilogy. We're going to do GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, all remastered. And then I'm going to go back and do some of the mods for the original version. So that's going to kind of be its whole, its own little series. So it's going to be super fun. All right, let's switch this over and see what we can do. Woo! All right, I'm excited for this. All right. Um, and by excited, I mean really, really terrified. That was actually creepy how that camera angle just changed there. I almost thought I saw another person. <laughs> probably getting a little ahead of myself. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. You'd probably actually speedrun this if you knew what you were doing the whole time, if you'd play it a little bit. But who wants to speedrun? Speedrunning is boring. I, I, I don't, I don't appreciate speedrunning. I just don't. I'm sorry. Here you go, Billy. I'm hungry. Here, eat this. Cereal at night? 
Give me the key, please. Got the wicker cabinet key. I am really not a good babysitter. I just realized that. I am not a good babysitter. So, I, I'm basically, I'm basically exchanging, uh, exchanging crappy cereal for a wicker key with a nine-year-old, mind you. All right? I am a bad babysitter. I don't know what else to tell you. All right? Do not hire me. Do not hire me. That's my new campaign. All right? It's don't hire me. It looks like it goes to another bedroom. No, it's locked, right? It's locked. Yep. All right. Is this the wicker cabinet? Yes. Yes, it is. Open the liquor cabinet. Yes. Now what? Wait a minute. Okay. How come I keep closing? I want it to be opened so I can grab the liquor. Okay. You're supposed to talk to Billy about the cabinet, make him some cereal. Right, yeah. Yeah, I, I got that. Well, if you think about it, a lot of studios are anti-mod lately. Either not supporting it or trying to monetize it. That's true. That's true. So, remember when GTA... And here's the thing, right? I love modding. I absolutely love it. I am about as pro-mod as they come. I mean, look at my... I'm not going to click out of the game because it'll crash. But look at my list of Doom mods, right? 900 of those bad boys. Love mods. All right, remember when GTA San Andreas cost like $5 on Steam? And now the remasters, the price is now quadrupled. It was still not cheap enough to justify buying the mediocre Steam but at least price is affordable. I mean, here's the deal, dude. I had the Steam version, right? There's no reason to have the Steam version because the best experience you would have with the first game was downgrading it to the original version anyway. So, and you can, you know, it doesn't have to be on Steam. You need to get rid of Billy. Twist, you're the killer and Billy needs to die. Oh, that would be sad. Speedrunners will remember that. <laughs> hey, I'm not saying I don't respect speedrunning. I'm just saying I don't care about it, that's all. I'm still on the fence on buying it. I love the graphics and some, not a lot. Gameplay enhancements plus all the mods and the price. Here's my suggestion, Sam, okay? This is this is my suggestion. This is going to make me sound like a hypocrite, all right? But I always say don't buy games brand new when they first come out, all right? And there's two full reasons for that. One, you probably have a ton of other stuff that you need to play anyway that you haven't gotten to yet, so you don't need just another thing added to it. Two... It's going to be at its most expensive when it first comes out. And three, it's going to be at its most buggiest. So if you just wait a couple of months, you could see how other people liked it. You could give them time to update any bugs. You could wait for the price to go down, maybe buy 15 bucks, you know, save you some money. Now, obviously, I'm going to get it day one and play it, but I'm a YouTuber, right? It's different when you're a YouTuber because you want to get content out as quick as possible while people are looking for it, you know? So, so that's the deal. Uh, genuinely don't know what to do here. Uh, oh, here we go. Will you take the bottle of liquor? Yes. All right. For some reason, it wasn't giving me that option, but now it did. All right. So I got the liquor now. So do I call Jill now or do I call Jack? I'm going to call Jack. I'm going to call Jack and then I'm probably supposed to call Jill, right? That, that makes sense. Rockstar Jason, welcome. He says, hi, bro. Next time, can you test out the GTA 1 Windows version? No, I'm not testing out the GTA 1 Windows version. I already played GTA 1 and the Windows version is broken. The hell happened to you? Billy fell asleep. Better put him to bed. Well, with me. All right. Oh, maybe that was what his parents meant. He's supposed to go to bed at one. Okay. Oh, that's the that's the TV, right? Is that Jack? That has to be Jack, right? Where the hell's the front door in this house? Jack, shut up! I'm coming. All right. Somebody's ringing the bell. Unlock the door. Yes, it's probably Jack. It was not Jack? Oh, that's creepy as hell. Uh. Alright, should I clean up this mess? No, the TV's on. Can I turn it off? I cannot. Oh, that does not help. Okay. I'm not going to clean up the mess. I am a terrible babysitter. Oh my goodness. If some monster comes in here and eats my face off, I'm going to really deserve it. Uh, hold up. Let's call Jack back. Jack back. See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Uh, da, da, da. Da, da, da. Boy made such a mess. He did. Okay. Get the wicker and send Billy to bed. All right. Did that. Kess, if you think about it, what if you made, what if you was a modder? 
and you were doing it for years, like 15 years, then Rockstar takes it down for their own profiles. Yeah, that would suck. That would be terrible. So it's just, it's really just not right. I really think that's an abuse of cop of copyright law. I'm not even joking. But, I mean, we can all agree the DMCA is completely out of date at this point. So, you can't, you can't expect out-of-touch old people uh, halfway across the country to, uh, to be up-to-date on copyright law. It's just, it's just not going to happen. All right, 555-9124. Honestly, here's the thing. I'm not, like, a huge Canada fan, but they've got the right idea on copyright law. I will give that to Canada. 9124, right? Yeah. Nobody picked up. Really? Why not? 9124. Maybe he's already on his way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He answered his phone. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Time out. Remember when I called him? He said he was drinking, smashing mailboxes, and tipping over cows. What was he doing in his house in order to pick up his phone? Did I just get him at just the right time? That don't make no sense. I'll call Jill back. Her, her number's 8345, right? Nobody picked up. Why is nobody picking up? Well, that is sus as hell. Also, don't remember the number for the police, but yeah, that's that's pretty normal. Okay. Any. Well, that's creepy. You should beat him. That's terrible, Mary. I'm not that bad of a babysitter. Oh gosh. No, type on YouTube this one. How to install Grand Theft Auto One. Play this version. Can you play it? No, not not doing that, Rockstar Jason. I'm not interested. Sorry. Okay. Also, because I'm a YouTuber, not a big one, but still. But I'm still holding my ground in my opinion. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Anyway, it's what happened with Warcraft 3. And not only that, the update from Warcraft 3 to Reforge deleted everyone's files. So if someone didn't have a copy of their mod, it got deleted. Oh, okay. Some mods are as old as 10 years. That's terrible. Dang. That's really, that's really bad. That's kind of like when, uh, it's kind of like when Adobe shut down Adobe Flash and a bunch of games. Got lost to the internet, right? It says somebody's ringing the bell and locked the door. I already did that. Am I supposed to just... Oh! Oh, it was Jack. Oh, okay. Well, now don't I look like an idiot. Uh, back to the front door, you stupid baka. Yeah, yeah. I am a stupid baka, real tight. Sarah said, uh, triple exclamation mark. You're an A word. Jack says, ha, ha, ha. This is the guy you like, Sarah. Really? This guy? You should see the look on your face. I'm not talking to you. Hey, come on, lighten up. It's Friday night. It is Friday night. Friday night's all right for five. I'm just not going to say Okay, they have the most potatoey looking faces I have ever seen in my life, okay? Jack looks like, Jack looks like someone stuck a different face on a different body. Sarah looks like a dude, all right? It's, it's, this is horrifying. Hey, did you know that I played GTA 3 using DG Voodoo 2? I didn't know that, cool. Back to the front, you'll do what I say, what I say. Go to the front porch till Jack, till Jack sums, till Jack sums. Oh yeah, we gotta do. We gotta go to the front porch till Jack sounds. All right, Jack says. So, what do you want to do? I want to. I want to look like a woman, Jack. What do you think? Okay. All right. Well, I was thinking we could, you know. Hey, cool. Is that Night of the Living Dead? I love this movie. Wait a minute. What did she want to do? That he didn't. All right. Also, I'm turning my phone off because uh, I just realized Google thinks I'm talking to it. So, hey, KJ1 was right though. Look, it actually sure references this. I know he's talking about Vice City, but still, of this movie. It's actually, okay, I gotta, I, I gotta, I gotta say something, all right? I gotta say something. As much crap as I give KJ1 about having horrible tastes, all right? It is kind of cool, the neat, it is kind of cool how big a background he has in movies. Anyway, getting off of that. Sarah says, I'm gonna get it to get a beer. Good deal. Where do you get beer from? Oh, yeah, from the, uh, from the thing. Before I do that, though, I'm going to go save. Because Real Tide told me to save after Jack comes over. He's kind of been holding my hand through this whole thing, which I actually really appreciate because I could use some use some hand holding. 
I'm teasing. This is a cool game, though. I really like games like this. It's kind of giving me some Resident Evil vibes. So, uh, so yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go save with my second save tape. Record your progress. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna go in the second one. Empty. There you go. All right, and now what do I do? Is there anything in my safe? Store your items. Yes. There is nothing in here. And I don't think I need to put anything in there for now. All right, so we're gonna go get a beer. So that was, so I need to go to the kitchen in order to do that. Was I supposed to call Jill? Right? I said to call her after Jack came over. Nah, this is the, this is the room. This is where Jack is. Wow, zombies are so interesting. Jack is really a boring dude, isn't he? I can really tell. Yeah, so here's the bad news though. We unlock the door, which mean, which probably means instant death. So yeah, fun, fun. All right, I'm in the kitchen. What the hell? What was that? I don't know, something outside probably. Hey Jack, you wanna go check out back? See what's good. All right, here's my beer. Okay, Sarah, you're supposed to get a beer, dude. Come on, get you a beer, Sarah. Okay, well, you suck. Um, let's go check outside, I guess. I heard something out there. Better get Jack. All right, Jack. I heard a spooky noise. Will you be a big, strong man and go check it out? It's probably just someone tipping another cow like you like to do, but, you know, you gotta be, you better be safe and sorry, Jackie boy. All right, anyway. Uh, let's see. Guess can I check your display settings on your PC? No, because if I tab out of the game, it will crash, and I will have to start all back from where I last saved, which really wasn't that far away. Uh, I'll tell you though, the display settings, I have this set to 1024 by 768, because that's the resolution the game runs at. Okay. Sarah, I heard a noise in the backyard. So what? So check it out. What if someone's out there? Then beat them up. But I want to watch the movie. Go look now. It's fine. Man, he's a slowpoke. Hold up, I'm gonna follow him though. He is actually super duper slow. He also walks like a mindless zombie, which is basically what he is. Okay. Is he not gonna go? I got him. I don't know about this. Just go check. I don't want to. Please. Okay. Now what? Do I go check on him? Pretty sure it's 1440p or 4K. Yeah, it's a 1440p monitor. Okay, zombies are interesting. Some who didn't live in the 2010s. By the way, there's different endings. Oh, fun. Better wait for Jack to get back. Oh, even she's doing it now. Okay, well now what do I do? It sounded like Jack had an incident. Crap. What happened to the lights? Oh, no. No. I guess I have no choice. Open the door. Yes. I gotta find out what the hell happened to Jack. Jackie? Oh, an axe. Oh, fun, fun. Will you take the axe? Hell yes, I will. Got it in my hands. Oh, hey, look. I can, I can, I can... I can cut a fella with it too. Fun, I can kill any, any fancy, an old shed, open it, yes. It's padlocked. How come my ax doesn't work? Lame. Jack? You yeah, got a body? You who? Help a brother out, quit playing hide and seek, okay? I get this from Billy, because he's like nine, but you, you should know better, Jack, I was gonna cut me some firewood, but, oh, no, nah, actually, we, do we need more firewood? It's pretty warm out tonight, but just in case Billy gets cold, you know, you gotta, gotta cut you some firewood. Where the hell are we going? I don't know, I don't know where anybody is. What's, what is in here? Oh, this is the garage, gas up the car. 
Yes, you don't have any gas. Fair enough. All right, well, it's not Taco Tuesday, so that explains that. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's keep let's keep looking around. I don't I don't know what happened to Jack. I'm looking for him. I just don't see him. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, old old garage door. All right. This this is giving me strong Friday the Thirteenth vibes. I'm not even gonna lie. Apparently, I'm not strong enough to chop down that fence. Very disappointing to be sure. Okay, now what do we do? So, well, I don't see Jack anywhere. In fact, you know what I see? I see Jack. <laughs> oh! No, oh, that was scary. Oh my gosh. Hello? Will you take the screwdriver? Yes. Oh, that's what that was. All, all right then. Well, that's that's completely horrifying. Well, I guess I'm going back. Oh, hello. I thought I could defend myself with the axe. Why does it sound like it's the Among Us loading screen music now? What the hell is that? Well, uh, that, that, that was, that was spooky as crap. Let's, let's try that again, shall we? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait a minute, what's going on? Don't tell me it's starting a new game over. Wait, 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 wait. It was supposed to work for my save. That was quick. It was, wasn't it? Wait, whoa, it started a whole new game. No, 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 no. I didn't want this. I didn't want it. Hold up. Let me, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just, we'll just start the whole thing over again. That's what we'll do. Hey, why'd you wake me up? Billy, I need you to run and find somewhere to hide. Wait, what? 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 Wait, what's happening? I thought it was starting a new game. What? I am so confused right now. I don't know what's go- I thought I wanted to save and then it started a new one, but it didn't. That, that was weird. I don't know what's going on now. No, it's more similar to Halloween than Friday the 13th. I haven't seen that. Although original Friday the 13th movies are basically Friday the 13th ripoff that evolved towards changing a few bits. Okay. Uh, the screwdriver will be used to open the laundry chute to go to the basement. Make sure... Oh, okay. Make sure you grab the ammo and safe key or whatever key the gun is in the parents' room. Oh, yeah, you need the gas... You need to gas up the car to escape, too. Well, okay, I'm back. Good deal. Welcome back, Sam, and thanks for the info, Real Tide. Uh, what's the number for the police again? I wanted to call the police. When are we doing Outlast? Hey, Tropical Dark, welcome, dude. Uh, it won't be any time soon, dude. We got other projects we're working on right now. Confusion of the highest order? Yeah, for real. That's, I don't, like, what's going on? Okay, Bill, I need you to run and find somewhere to hide. <laughs> Do it! So... Wait! What? Well, how is Jack still... Wait. I don't understand what's going on. I'm gonna go to my room. I guess. What's my inventory? It's nothing. What? The hell is going on? I genuinely don't know anymore. Oh, how? Someone's watching me again, aren't they? Probably. Let me go in my room real quick. Everything's so dark, and Jack's there, but he's not. I don't know what's going on. What is this? How does this thing work? Record your progress. No? Okay, what's in my safe? Probably nothing, right? There's another VHS tape there. 
It says store your items. Okay, can I can I try loading again? I want to load one more time. Well, the game is broken. Is it really? Just reload? Oh, it's just oh, it's broken. Well, that's why it's that's why that's why nothing that's why everything's so wrong. It seems so weird. Oh, I thought I thought it was I thought it was messing with me, but no, it's actually this is actually it. Okay, so here's that whole intro again. So is the save not any good? Why is there a broken save? It's doing the same thing. Wait a minute, let's try this again. No, it's just starting from the beginning again. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll have to start from an older save. And work our way back up to the part with Jack. Here, let's just tab out of the game and restart it real quick. I don't know what's going on with this. It does not make any sense at all. Okay, it's not going to close it. Let's see if we can close it the hard way. There you go. Okay, so that game's closed now, so let's restart it. I don't know what on. Truly, I do not. I think we're gonna have to go uh, invite Jack over again, though. Cats broke the game. It's not a cat stream without cats breaking the game. That's <laughs> uh, because the purple nines glitch. Should have installed Silent Patch. I don't know what purple nines is or why Silent Patch would apply here, but all right. Okay, so the first save works, but the second one doesn't. Well, that that's bull crap. All right. Well, here's the good news. Right here's the good news. I've played, I've played this for a while, so I at least know what I'm doing now, so that's good. Okay, so now that I know what I'm doing, let's go, let's go get caught back up to where we were. Okay, so first order of business, let's go, goodness, how far back am I? Quite frankly, I do not know. I don't actually know what where we were last when we last saved. Um, let's see. Do we? I guess we have to turn the get the TV remote, right? That'd be the first order of business. So let's go do that. Yeah, I just, just I, I I don't know why why the save didn't work, but it but it did not. Take the remote control. Yes. Okay. There should be uh. Wasn't there a shelf up here with another? Another save tape or something? There's a shelf somewhere with a save tape. Hold up real quick. Um, where is it, though? Oh, it's, I think it's actually in the liquor cabinet room, so we should actually just go over there. All right. Yeah, there's a shelf. It's got us a tape on it. There it is. VHS tape. Good deal. Okay, we'll try and we'll try and save properly this next time. Oh, I, I closed the door behind me. I don't know why I did that, but I did. All right, so there's the wicker, so we'll save that for later. So right now, let's go turn on the TV. And uh, for our boy Billy. Yeah, we actually did lose a lot of progress here. At the remote part, try saving the lights cut off and Jack gets killed. Before I go outside, I'm guessing that, that'd make the most sense. That's what I'll do. Okay, good deal. Good deal, homie. Okay, so I got the remote control. So now, we're going to turn on the TV. What's good? Turn on the TV? Yes. TV is on. All right, Billy, have fun, homie. Now this phone's going to ring, right? I thought so. Is it that B-word, Jill, again? What's up, B-word, Jill? And B-word obviously stands for best friend. Why would it stand for anything else? You sit in your ivory tower. Don't you judge me. I see all. Sam says, this isn't my favorite PC game. Oh, it absolutely is mine. This is like the best PC game ever. I mean, TF2 what? Red Dead Redemption 2 what? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Anyway. Uh, also, why is it the best games are always sequels? Right? Why is it always... Why, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2... Saints Row 2, Team Fortress 2, right? It's always twos. Grand Theft Auto 2. Okay, no. 
Uh, that's where that's more the metaphor ends. Hey, Sarah, Jill, you scared the crap out of me. Blah, blah, blah. Here's my number. Call me. Wait. Wait a minute. Here's something I don't understand. Why does she say to call her when Jack gets there? And then... And then when I call her, it, it's... I, I don't get it. Maybe I should call her after, after the, the rise of the killer or whatever. I don't know. Hold up. I'm hungry. Okay. Do I have to go quick on the wicker cabinet? And... Yeah, I think I have to go find it and click on it before I can actually get the key for it, if I'm remembering correctly. This is the wrong way to go. Here we go. Here's the stairs. All right. Up against the wall. Nice. Okay, so we actually have to try to open the wicker cabinet and then find it be locked, I guess. Probably. There's an order to this, ladies and gentlemen. A perfect order to this. That's what it is. Open the wicker cabinet. Yes, it's locked. Okay. So we gotta go ask Billy about the key. All right, I'm gonna try my best to save and not have the save get all corrupted this time. <laughs> Puppet combo. Oh, this isn't your favorite puppet combo game. Oh, that's what you meant by PC. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. So what is your favorite puppet combo game? This is the only one I've played thus far. It's it's very cool. I like it. It's just, it's just weird. Okay. I'm hungry. I thought I was supposed to ask him about the wicker cabinet key. Should I, should I go, well... Well, that doesn't make any... Oh, wait, I didn't call Jack yet. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm supposed to go get my coat and get my number before I worry about the liquor cabinet. Oh, I'm in such a dummy. All right, let's go grab Billy. I see why Real Tide told me to get familiar with the concept of running, because we're going to need that in order to get to the house in time when we run away from Killer Boy. Where's Billy at? There he is. Come back here, Billy. Sure runs off for a hungry kid. Fine, I'll give it back. Okay, so we gave it back. We can go call Jack now. Then we can worry about the wicker cabinet. Always worry about the wicker cabinet second. That's what I always say. So here's another thing. How can we ever repeat the game from this save twice? And this is the second time I've had to do that now. There we go. Nine, one, two, four. Okay, wonder if I could have done that since I already knew the number. What would have happened if I tried to call him without getting the number from Billy first? That would have been interesting. Would have been an interesting thought experiment. And by thought, I mean brain dead monkey. Okay, here is the room, the TV room. Billy! Hey, Billy, do your parents have a liquor cabinet? Can't open the key? Yes, but only if you cook me something. Okay, here's some cereal combined with some milk. All right. Here you go, buddy. I'm hungry. Here, eat this. Cereal at night. Give me the key, please. I got the wicker cabinet key. Woo woo. Oh, this game is pretty scary. I can't even lie. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll f I like fix mods that make the game more compatible. Yeah, so do I. I definitely appreciate those. Okay. In the f Oh, in the first slot? Okay, real tight. I'll do that. Save in the first spot, not the second one, because apparently I can't do that, as we've seen. Okay, open the liquor cabinet, yes. Grab this, we take the bottle of liquor, yes. Will you go down and answer the door when Jack arrives? Yes, hopefully, or maybe we have to put Billy to bed, that's right. That's right, we go down and he's falling asleep and all his Cheerios or whatever the hell it is spilled everywhere. Good, good times, really. Um, where's the TV room? Oh, here it is. It's funny, when I first saw him lying down like that, I thought something happened to him, but no, it's just, it's simple, he just fell asleep. Serona two tates. Welcome. He says, I am back, mortal fools. Well, I'm back. Glad you are back, Serona. Welcome. KJ wants his Half-Life and Doom aren't sequels. True. True. They are not. But Doom 2 is a sequel, and so is Half-Life 2. Okay, no. No, okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. All right. 
All right, front door. That movie music does not make this any less terrifying. You know that? Okay. Somebody's ringing the door, unlock it, yes. Go outside. Go up for Jack, there he is. Trying to terrify me. I tell him to come in. We watch some TV. I can't remember the name, but it's third and first person camera. Also has Pink Bunny. Can't remember the name though. Yeah, this one has third and first person camera as well. It's the most scary game I played and I don't scare easy. Wow, okay. I was thinking we could, you know, hey cool, is that Night of Loving Dead? I love this movie. Gonna go get a beer. Okay. Kitchen's over here. Alright, well that's terrifying. What was that? Good question. Uh, I heard somebody out there. Better get Jack. I'm not one of those strong, independent women who check things out myself. No, I I scoff at that. What's... Okay, I don't want the hell am I back in here for. I don't know. Alright, here. Hold up. Hold up, Jack! Honey bear! Help a brother out, okay? Or a sister. Or, or I don't know. You're... Your little play pal, I don't know. Help, help somebody out. I heard a noise, so what? Go check it out. Find if it's somebody, beat them up. I, but I want to watch the movie! Go look now. Fine. It just repeats every like a couple of minutes, buddy. You can ask Billy, he'll tell you the same thing. We've been watching it for the past hour. Uh, okay. Gotta wait for Jack to walk all the way in here. He's kind of creepy when he walks. Uh, beeping a word in the beeping yard, making me miss the movie. I don't know about this. Just go check. I don't want to, please. Okay. And then Sarah didn't realize that she was sending Jack to his death. Uh, I remember you can, if I remember you can save Jack. Really? Also, the game had Jack Jacksepticeye in it. Of course it did. All right, I'm going to walk out of the room. Check it, check it. I'm gonna try walking out of the room. That's all it takes. Yep. Oh no, what happened to the lights? All right, so now is the time to save, right? Yes. So save in the first slot when the lights cut off and Jack got killed. Okay, so that's what I'm doing now. Where's, where's my actual special little save slot? Um, let's see, I remember it was off the kitchen. Okay, nothing to worry about. We're just gonna go to our little safe room. Be funny if the killer was right in here, wouldn't it? Oh, that'd be hilarious, okay. You guys heard, heard that, right? Record your progress. Yes. Over top the first slot. Oh, maybe that's why the save got corrupted earlier. Maybe I didn't wait for it to finish blinking. Maybe it's got to blink in order to save fully. Or not. I, I don't know. When when can when can I get off of, off of this? Oh, there you go. It's kind of awkward, but all right. And that's it. You don't have a tape. Okay, I'll just assume it worked and leave it at that. Uh, can I leave? Yes, I can. Let's go outside and figure out what happened to Jack, shall we? Jackie Bear. Wait, where did Jackie Bear go? Hold up a second. So Jack Septicai was in a puppet combo game, was he? So him and not Markiplier. That's got to be a bit hurtful. Okay, now I'm, I'm teasing. That was a joke. Okay, I've seen Fall Guy or Free Guy or whatever the name of the movie was. Okay. I guess I have no choice. Open the door. And now remember, you gotta get familiar with sprinting in this part. All right, so I'm gonna go grab an ax or something, if I can, even though it's apparently useless against, against uh, uh, the, the screwdriver murderer, whatever his name is. Okay, so here we go, scary sounds. Woo! Go right after him. I'm trying. Oh, here we go. There you go. Gotta get back in focus. Will you take the screwdriver? Yes. I'm also going to go back home. Uh, 
Beep, it's locked. Well, that's horrifying. Press action. Oh, I was supposed to chop the door open. That makes sense. Okay, there's the Among Us sound effect. Let's load our save. Oh, and hey, it actually saved correctly last time. Woo, let's go. Okay, let's try all that again, shall we? That's actually, that's actually pretty terrifying. I can't even lie. Like, I might be being kind of low-key with it, but yikers. Billy, why are you up? Wait, no, it doesn't save. It didn't save. Why is it not saving? It never lets me save there. I just keep going back to the stupid part where I have to find the stupid remote control all over again. Ah! Saves in this game don't work. Maybe, whoa, wait a minute. Maybe it can't save because the power gets cut off. I didn't think of that. Huh. That would make sense. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I mean, I know what to do because I've done it like a thousand times, but like, I don't know how to actually save or make any progress. That is that is infuriating. I am very infuriated. I am muy infuriante. There you go. Okay, let's let's go. <laughs> all right, I'm I'm gonna quit. Let's go in here. Pass all the VLC media player cones. Grab me one of these. Okay. One game was Night Shift and the other was Murder House. They both scared the hell out of me. Which Night Shift is part of Stay Out of the House. Ooh hoo. Interesting. Okay, let's go in here. I don't know. Did you press enter, confirm, safe? Don't know how it works. I don't know how it works either. So I'll try. I'll try anything this next time. We'll we'll figure something out. Um. But yeah. Okay. So we got the remote control. Let's go over here and turn the TV on. TV's on. We've always got something to watch. We're gonna go uh, answer the phone. Mm. Oh, that's the last of my tea. I'm gonna get real thirsty. <laughs> Sarah's like, hello? Hello? Nope, sorry, Sarah. That That's the end for you, girl. That is the end for you. Alright, never mind. Here's, here comes Jill. Here comes Jill. Hey, Sarah. Jill. You scared me. I'm just gonna skip all this garbage. Blah, blah, blah. Remember the guy? Are you calling him? Yes. Your mom. Uh, remember, this is my number. Said, didn't she say to call her after we talked to him? That was the weird part. Let me go get my coat out of the closet real quick. That's that's not the correct door. That's actually my room, actually. If you can if you can believe it. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a beautiful room. It's got my own little tape recorder in there. There we go. Here's the closet. There we go. Just some coats. Looking for this. Jack's number. Come, come get me. I'm gonna run, even though I'm hungry, which will very much explain. She looks kind of aggravated when she's stomping around trying to catch people. You know that? There we go. All right, I got it. Okay, so now that I got the number, I should just be able to go in the kitchen, right? Yes. Okay, um, five, 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 nine, one, two, four. All right, hey Jack, it's me, Sarah. Try third slot, I will real tight. We'll try the third slot. Okay, I think I can get some, come over to 11.30. So it's 11.30 when this happens. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, uh, let's go over this way, I guess. All right, let's see. Um, Now what do I do? I totally forgot what's after this part. Uh, do I ask Billy about his parents' wicker cabinet? I think that's it. Or do I? Yeah, because I already called Jack and talked to him. Here we go. Parents have a wicker cabinet. Can't open up the key. I can only, I'll only give the key to cook me something. All right, done this before. Cereal and milk. Here we go. I'm hungry. Eat this. All right, now he gave me the key. So now I can go back upstairs. I'm gonna get in the habit of running. Mostly just because it's faster. And I enjoy things being fast. Okay. Do 
in here. Nice. And he is a liquor cabinet. Open the liquor cabinet. Yes. All right. Take a bottle of liquor. Yes, I will. And now I'm going to go put Billy to bed and wet Jack inside the place. And then when Jack in the Box is watching his movie, I'll probably try and save or something. I don't know. All right. Or maybe after that. After he gets killed. There you go. That's what we'll do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Billy? Here he goes. Oh, no, he's dead. Nah, psych, he just fell asleep. Okay. I would love to watch you play. I don't know if you will. Oh, I'm sure we'll get around to it someday. You'll have to tell me the name of it, though. Go have things fast. That's why you got an SSD. You're right. That's exactly why I got a solid state drive. If that don't work, try this start new game since you're technically starting a new game anyway from the top. Then save when Jack gets killed in the first slot. Okay. We'll try that. Now, that would probably be the most, uh, that would probably be the most helpful, not most helpful, what am I saying? Probably be the most intelligent solution to the saving crisis that we're having right now. All right, here's the front door. He's playing Ding Dong Jack, Ding Dong Dash, that Jack is. Here we go. Hello, Jack. Boo. Boo. Oh. Okay. He comes in to watch TV, right? Yep. The screen stays dark for a hot minute. I don't know why. There's no way for me to skip this. I wonder if all their furniture's as tacky as this couch. I wonder if all their furniture's tacky as this couch. Oh, I'm stuck in a loop. Oh no, real tight. It broke again. It broke again, real tight. I'm totally broken now. Wow, you can, this game does not let you mess around or skip crap or anything. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. I wonder if all their furniture is tacky as this couch. I wonder if all their games are as broken as this one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, let's try it. Let's try that again. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do, guys. Here here's the plan. Let's let's start a new game right from the top. Alright, we're not gonna do any saves. Until <laughs> until we get up to that ending part, and then we'll try it one more time. All right, good deal. All right, new... New game, yes. Here we go. We'll just kind of skip through some of this. A time loop, just like the scene from Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. This is fun though, I am, I am enjoying this for what it's worth. Designed by Ben Coconut. That's totally what that said. Sarah walks through the front door. Everybody in this game walks so slowly. Her, Jack. These, these, these people. I don't, I'll read all this again. I don't even remember this anymore. It's been two hours. Hi, Sarah. We're so glad you could come on such short notice. Let me take your coat. All right, hi, Sarah. We're so glad you could come at such short notice. You literally just said that. Billy is really excited to see you. No problem. Yeah, little brat. Before we go, do you have any questions? Oh, wait. I forgot. We we did something here, didn't we? Can I get paid now? Sure, we'll be back at 11. They weren't back at 11, you remember? Now means now. We must be going. Talk when we get back. All right, you cheap little... Oh, hey. Mr. Johnson looks a hell of a lot like Jack. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, no. I need to get my flashlight or something, dude. Where is my flashlight? That's the problem about starting again from the top. I lost all my cool little items. I gotta go looking around for stuff again. I wonder if all their furniture is tacky as the couch. I swear, if I have to read that again, someone's gonna die. And it is not gonna be Billy. Maybe it will be. I don't know yet. We'll see. Anything in here? There's the radio. AM radio, turn it on. Hey, I'm the reason they do what they do, guys. Here we go. Thanks for the interruption, but for the matter of your safety and well-being, we have received reports that a mental patient has escaped from Lincoln State Hospital and should be considered extremely dangerous. I repeat, 
do not try and approach any suspicious persons, but rather alert your local authorities immediately. Fugitive's name is Nicholas Burr, 38, approximately 6'4", 240 pounds, armed and dangerous. The apprehension of Burr is a top priority. Please contact cool. Okay, so there's all that. We've heard all that before. Uh, still looking for my light. Don't know where it is. Is it upstairs? I'm gonna have to look around a little bit more like I was doing. Oh, that's not a pleasant sound. Come out of that radio. Um, it's the coat closet. Where's the bathroom? Did I get the light in the bathroom? Probably not. Uh, well, maybe. I don't know. We'll go look for the bathroom again. Just exploring the house like you do. Here's the bathroom. All right, where's my light? I really want my light. I really love that light. That light was so helpful at getting around, seeing things like you do. Will you take the first aid kit? Yes, okay. So that's what I got out of here. I knew that I knew I went in the bathroom for some reason. All right, so this is my room. Was this where I got the light? Okay, VHS tape, here we go. There's us, there's us a VHS tape. Okay, there's nothing in that bookshelf. Or that one. All right, let's go to the kitchen, maybe the TV room, look around there. All right, guess other game are not like this, but the game has a lot of bugs, okay. Cass would watch a Billy IRL like that's just Cass. <laughs> I hope the GTA pedestrians will all stay the same in remasters. Can't let go of the NPCs that say I smoke because it gives me knowledge. He also says I was the one driving high, not you, if you hit him while he's in his car. Yep, that's a reference to the Halloween movies where Michael Myers escapes and starts killing dogs, truck drivers, and babysitters. Oh, okay. Now well, that would explain it then. But yeah, no, you can't cut out the voice acting lines. Absolutely not. I mean, that's just too darn cool. I'm not hungry right now. Still don't know where the hell my uh I want that I want that cereal box, man. Give me that cereal. Alright, let's let me go in the fridge here, get me some milk. Alright, take the milk. Yes, I will. Alright, I still don't know where my light is. It must be upstairs. Along with Billy's remote. Uh okay. Let's go looking around up in this creepy. Little area. There's the remote control. Like legit, how have I not found the light already? <laughs> I actually don't even remember where I got it. That was way back at the beginning of the stream. Also, I really don't like the, the creepy music, man. Nothing interesting here. I could, I could, no, they're doing real, wait, wait a minute. What's this? You take the pocket flashlight, stink? Yes, I will. All right, so that's where it is. It's in his parents' stinking room, okay. Good deal, yo. Oh, man, when she walks out like that, that just scares the stink out of me, okay. Let's go down here. All right, we're gonna go down this way. We're gonna see old Billy Bob. Where is old Billy Bob? Gotta go turn on his TV for him so he can quit strutting around like a proud peacock. Uh, here we go. All right, Billy, here's something for you to watch. It's 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 evil. It's Night of the Living Dead. You like that movie? Well, of course you do. Who wouldn't like that? All right. Anyway, um, have you ever played Happy Wheels? I have. If you are happy and you know it, what Jack died. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh goodness, Sarah. Hello. You sit in your ivory tower. Don't you judge me. I see all. Congestion. Really bad throat congestion. Bronchitis probably with this time of year and everything. Ah, I can never get away from this ringing box, can I? All right. This is Jill. She's annoying as stink. She asked if I'm going to talk to the boy whose name is Jack. I don't know. Wrote down his number. Left it in the coat. You better get it and call me after you talk to him. Remember, she says to call her after talking to Jack, right? We always do it, and then she always complains about, about us calling her. Makes no sense. She's a weird, complicated woman, that Jill is. 
I'm just, I'm just super saying. Okay, um, this isn't the front door. Front door is the other side of the house, so let's go. I'm intimately familiar with the inner workings of the house now, which is nice, so at least now I know where to go and how to grab things. Just some codes, looking for this, Jack's number, give it. I will catch you, you conniving little child. The hell? I'm hungry. Did I get the number? I did. All right. Odd. Let's skip their whole inter interaction. Yeah, this is a buggy game. But remember, this is from like old, old, early days. This is probably one of the first puppet combo games. <sighs> okay. Phone calls must be a reference to the screen movies. Really? Interesting. Nobody picked up. Must I must have gotten that number wrong. Uh, 9124. I put 9124, didn't I? Or the other way around. Okay. So. There we go. There's Jack. Hey, Jack. It's Sarah from the mall. Hey, Sarah. You doing anything fun tonight? Blah, blah, blah. Hope was flirting. Okay. So we, we're done with him. So let's go ask uh, Billy about the liquor cabinet. All right, Billy, your parents got a liquor cabinet. Very common thing in the 90s, to be sure. Where's the key? I'm gonna give it if you cook me something. I need to get rid of Billy. I really do. Let's, let's get rid of him. Let's, let's get him all doped up on some sugary cereal. Have to pass that. You know, all the, all the good babysitter tricks. So, oh man, all right. I'm hungry. Here, eat this cereal at night. Give me the key, please. All right. She is eating it. Look, you can see his, his body moving. Okay, that's how you know he's eating it. All right, so let's go over here now. Let's go up to the up to the stairs. All right, upstairs to the liquor cabinet. Also, we should check out the creepy bathroom while we're up here, because why not? Creepy piano music ensues. No mirrors. Why, why doesn't it have any mirrors? I actually am curious why it doesn't have any mirrors. That is pretty weird. The somebody's watching me thing doesn't really make any sense. I don't understand the, that bathroom's backstory at all. I just, I just don't. Okay. Let us continue. Um. All right. Open the liquor cabinet. Yes. We take a lot of liquor. I most definitely will. All right, we're gonna put Billy to bed and invite Jack over, and hopefully after all this, we will actually be able to successfully save. Fun fact, this game came out in 2014 or 2016. I think it's actually 2013, if I remember correctly, because that's what it shows on the title screen. Um, is this the room? Yeah, here we go. All right, Billy, time to put you to bed. All right, so he's asleep. Now, see, I've never even checked on him while he was asleep. What does he even look like when he sleeps? Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Just, you know, watch him while he sleeps. Are there any monsters in his closet? I almost feel like checking. I better check just to be on the safe side. Yoo-hoo! No monsters? Okay, good deal. I think that's enough checking. Oh, this is really creepy. Oh, oh goodness. All right, here's Jack. He came over finally. I have to go open the door for him. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh. All right, let's go down here. Somebody's ringing the bell, unlock the door. Yes, please. Yeah. If I just opened it and then closed it and it creaked. That was lovely. There he is, there's old Jackie boy. All right. Okay, so they're doing their whole thing, right? They're watching some TV. All right. Um, all right, so they're watching TV. Sarah wants a beer, so she gets up to get one. She goes back to the kitchen. Or the radio room, I guess, if not the kitchen. Where's the kitchen? Oh, this is the stairs. I don't want to go upstairs. I want to go to the kitchen for a beer, son. All right, well, here's some outside. Uh, when, what was that? 
I don't know. Probably your mom. Okay, we're gonna go. Wait, I gotta go to the door first, right? Should I go to the door or should I just go and talk to Jack? Can I talk to Jack without going to the door? I don't know. Let's find out. In this week's edition of, of Cast Breaks, of Cast Breaks, uh, wh whatever the name of the game is. Okay. Hold up. Here we go. Let's go interrupt, interrupt this boy's movie. I heard noise in the back yard. So what? So check it out. What if someone's out there? Then beat him up. But I want to watch the movie. Go look here. Fine. I'll talk to him. Beeping beeps in the beeping yard, making me miss the movie. Yeah, he is not a happy camper. Okay. Um, should I just go upstairs? That sounds nice. <laughs> sounds nice and safe. Uh, okay. There he is. I see him. All right, and he's just he's just there chilling. All right, I don't know about this. Just go check. I don't want to. Please. Okay. There he goes. All right, time to walk out of this room. And now is the part where we save. Okay. Stink. What happened to the lights? All right, so let's go and try and save. And if we can't save, then it probably just goes to show the tape recorder is broken and that we're not intended to save in this part. And that we should have saved before we told Jack to go outside and check. That would, that would be my first guess. But I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if it'll let us save. All right, Real Tide. Moment of truth right now, record your progress. Empty. Oh! Save. Yeah, we were supposed. You guys were right. I had to hit enter and hit save. That must have been what I was doing wrong. Okay, so now hopefully, yeah, it will work correctly. All right. So sorry I was messing it all up, guys, and blaming it on the game. Not not very cash money of me, I know. Is that blood on the floor? I sure as stink hope not. Guess I have no choice. Open the door. Yes. Goodbye forever. It's probably just try just the lighting, you know. Uh, let's meet your favorite werewolf movie. Must be Joe Dante's The Howling. I'm not a movie person. Sounds like me, Sam. I'm not a movie person either. So, everybody says they want me to be a movie person, but they don't really mean it. We take the axe. Yes, I will, son. Let's go back here and figure out what happened to, to Darling Jack. Okay, so he's over here. So we're just gonna deal with that. All right, ready to sprint, guys. Time to sprint. Take the screwdriver. Yes, I will. Press action. I am pressing action, idiot! What does press action even mean? What does that mean? Oh, no. Options. Controls. Oh, action is space. Oh, I thought I was doing that. All it was do having me do is bang on the door. I wasn't doing squat. <laughs> What's that supposed to do? Have have Billy come get me? I don't know. All right, let's try that again. Okay, the save did work this time, so that makes me happy to see. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> uh, the Among Us music, though, am I right? Obviously, this came up before Among Us, but still. Among Us gets priority. <laughs> I don't even know. All right. Here's the kitchen, here's the back door. I don't know how to handle old Jack. I really don't. Also, the house is decidedly much more creepier now with the electricity off. All right, we take the axe. Yes, I will. Go back here. Okay, grab the screwdriver out of whatever organ this is, I suppose. All right, let's go, boys. Press action. I am pressing action! Ah! All right, real time, I'm stumped. <laughs> Is that the end? Is, is this is this where this part ends for me? Cause I, I did what it told me. I pressed action. It didn't do no good. 
I what chopping the door down wasn't wor wasn't gonna work out. That's for darn sure. <laughs> Anybody else got any ideas? Cause I'm stumped. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of just caterwauling here. That's what I'm tired of. Need to use an auto quicker. There you go. That's a good idea. It's dark and scary. I think I shouldn't go out there alone. The hell? Oh, did I load from the wrong save? I did. Okay. I, I loaded from the wrong save. My bad. Let's load from the correct one. The third one. There you go. Whew. Just get good. I guess. Whatever that means. Well, guess it means to get good. I don't know how much queer I could be. Guess I have no other choice. Open the door. All right. Let's try this again. It's actually very peaceful outside. Got, got me an axe. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm not supposed to take the axe yet. Maybe if I wasn't holding the axe. Let's try not taking the axe. Take the screwdriver. Okay. We'll take the screwdriver, but not the axe. Even though taking the axe seems like a far more intelligent option, quite frankly. Keep trying. All right, I suppose. The axe certainly wasn't, not having the axe certainly wasn't the solution. I might just have to look it up. I don't know what else to do. Cause I just keep getting turned into a meatball sub. That's what keeps happening. All right, well, let's go over here. Guess I have no choice. Open the door, blah, 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 blah. Go outside, need to spam space. Keep on winning. <laughs> Thanks, KJ1. Spam space. I was spamming space, though. I was really, I was spamming it like there was no tomorrow. You, you gotta believe me. You gotta believe me. Yes, you can use the axe. No, I tried using it. It didn't do anything. So, axe, axe didn't do squat. I can't chop the door down. I already tried that. That was like my, that was my first nature, actually, to chop the door down if I'm being 100% with you boys. See, I've done this so often, I've already... Oh good, I got in, hooray! Look, I did it. Billy, hey, why'd you wake me up? Sarah says, Billy, I need you to run and find somewhere to hide. Why? That's why, do it! All right, now what do I do? Probably go upstairs and get that other save tape. Probably be a good idea. So I don't know what to do now. I know he's in here. Can I go in my safety room? Yeah. Keep my axe with me. I won, guys. As a weapon, I'm pretty sure. No, I already tried that. I tried that when he came and knifed me. The axe doesn't do squat to this dude. So, uh, probably should have had a second tape, huh? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what do I do now, guys? What's the next order of business? Uh, Real Tide said something about taking the axe and the screwdriver to use the laundry chute to get to the basement. I remember something about that. Where do you get a laundry suit, shoot, bleh, laundry shoot to the basement? Also, is this guy just randomly around the house, like, oh yeah, there he is. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> so he just randomly walks around there. Yeah, Kess got good. I did not. I did not get good. You tried right and left combo? I have not. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is going to be it for part one of Babysitter Bloodbath. I really hope you all enjoyed the stream. Thank you all very, very much for watching and for being a part of it tonight. A big thank you to our T-Squad Plus members whose names will be read in the following order. Quinn, Alpha Nerd, K Plague Doc, Alien Force, Tropical Dark, Russian Spy, Steve Go Home, and Regular Gray. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the channel. I appreciate you and you help make the dream possible. But yeah, I will be back to play this again, hopefully sometime soon. Uh, maybe tomorrow because it'll be Halloween tomorrow. So we'll see if we can keep on going with this See if we can uh, figure out what the next order of business is. It's obviously gonna get them much harder now Because I gotta navigate a dark house with a psycho killer. So uh, you know, no, no, no pressure. No pressure Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you very much for tuning in and yeah uh, Real Tide says go to laundry chute and unscrew the screws and go down the chute
Okay, and, and remind me again, Real Tide, where exactly is the laundry chute? Because that's, that's, that's what I'm getting a little, uh, little hung up on. Anyway, guys, thank you again for tuning in, and thank you for being a part of the stream. Until next time.